looking at an 18th century wig scratcher. So back in the 18th century, it was common uh, for women and men to wear wigs. And so when you were out and about and wearing the wig, uh, you would oftentimes get itchy. And so you needed an implement to scratch your head with. And so this is one version uh, of a wig scratcher. I really like it because it has this cool um, little hand on there. Um, it's probably made of ivory, but as you can see, it looks just like a tiny little hand. Um, and then it's also got this long uh, wooden uh, stick on it that you would hold it with. And this is something that they would have carried with them um, in public. I like that it looks very real life. Um, it's got, I'm not sure if you can tell, but up close it's got ruffles on it. So like the bottom of a ruffle of a shirt that they would have worn at that time period. So it all looks very period and kind of whimsical. I think it's just kind of uh, really cute. Uh, this is uh, something that we like to do with school groups is we like to do kind of a show and tell where we don't tell them what the item is, but we um, kind of ask them questions about it and see if they can figure out what the item is. Um, most of the items that we have kind of have a modern day equivalent uh, of something that kids would recognize today. This is a little bit unusual in that um, we don't typically wear wigs today and so we don't typically have you know, a wig scratcher that we would take out in public. However, when we get to talking about kids with this and start asking them about what do they think it's made of, what do they think it could be used for, who do they think would have used it, generally, after a few minutes, they come to the conclusion that it is a wig scratcher. Once you talk about how um, common it was for people to wear wigs then, um, you know, how they may have been designed, that sort of thing.